what I'm about to tell y'all. Hate me for it if you won't. I'm Team Lawrence in this one. I'm Team Lawrence in this one. What's up, y'all? This is my Twisted Life of Poetry. I am Poetry. You have come to this channel for an insecure recap. This is season seven. No, I keep messing it up. Season two, episode seven. Hella disrespectful. Okay. <laughs> we only got one more episode left of uh, season two. And I'm going to tell y'all, I need a break. If you're tired of doing reviews and recaps right now, but that's okay. We're going to move on with this one. Hella disrespectful. Um, Issa tell Molly about the blast off. And Molly like, hell no. That's some foul shit. Let's go set it off on his ass, right? So Issa like, you know what? I was just trying to show him that he was special. Do something nice for him. And he embarrassed me like that. No, girl, you embarrassed your damn self. You did that shit. Molly said, no, no, no. He was being disrespectful. Girl, bye. Okay. Issa the one that took it upon herself to go slob on the knob. And when he said he was about to come, she didn't bother. Or at least swallow one of the two, girl. But you, that's your fault. Don't put that on Daniel. I can't even blame Daniel for that. So Molly drops by. No, so Molly drops that on Issa. That, uh, yeah, she's still messing around with Drew. It's like, wait, what? That was supposed to be a one time hit it and quit it type of thing. Why are you still going back? She say, girl, it's more like a 17 times and ain't no stopping. Like, really, Molly? Really, Molly? Okay. <laughs> So, Asa was like, oh, girl, like, what the heck are you expecting to get out of this? Like, she said, they in an old relationship. So I know they in an old relationship, but for you, what you supposed to be getting out of this? She's like, I don't know. And I don't, uh, at this time. So, I mean, like, you in this and you decide to be in this open relationship. It's not that you don't have no expectations. You don't know what the fuck you want from it, which means your feelings getting caught up in this joint, girl. Like, really? But mommy ain't trying to hurt it, so... I'm like, how sway? How, 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 why, why sway? Why are you gonna do that? <laughs> bad move, girl. But bad move. I'm like, this gonna be super bad for Molly. Like, you got me speaking all kind of incorrect grammar and shit type of bad. That's how bad it's gonna be for Molly. Issa on the bus and she see that student that ripped her and Frida off. <laughs> Again, this is actually her second time seeing him. She saw him on the bus last episode. And he's sitting there doing his PSAT studying, and uh, she's just trying to, you know, chat him up a little bit. And come and find out from him that, yeah, Mr. Gaines is specifically telling the Latino students, y'all can't get in that program. Y'all ain't down with them. So now Lisa feel it. I'm, I'm easy feeling some kind of way. So things heating up for Lawrence at work between him and the other Latino chick. I don't know her name. They even said her name in this episode, and I still didn't pick it up. Uh, I don't know if. Lawrence just said it super fast, but she called herself the random girl that showed up to Derek's dinner. That's what she called herself. So, mm -hmm. Molly is uh, hanging out with the lawyer dude from Chicago. Again, yeah, I can't remember his dog on name. Is it Quincy? Quentin or Quincy? It's probably Charles. It's probably some simple shit, and I just can't remember. Anyway, he telling her that he gonna roll through um, L.A. And he want Molly to show him the ropes, hang out with him. And I'm like, okay, I see Molly's, Molly's ship building up because that's who I said this Molly should be with is that dude, right? That's what I said that. First time I see him on screen, go back to my reviews and you see it. I said that. I know what I'm talking about. Anyway, one thing I don't like is that um, when Molly flips back and forth from Chicago, we don't know that she's in Chicago because it's so weird. She'd be with Issa and then all of a sudden she's in Chicago and then the next thing she's back in L.A., without telling us that she's doing this transition i would like for the show to make that known because if old boy had to say that he was on his way to la i would have thought they were in la at that moment driving around town i think he was giving us some garrett's popcorn i had the flavor that they said though i wasn't sure i ain't never seen it at garrett's before i don't know but the, the bag looked like a garrett's bag maybe i was wrong so after the little meat uh conversation with the little boy on the bus he used to get back on track with frida and now she wants to include the Latino students in. So now they back on the same path. They all good. Joel comes into Molly's uh, with a bag of groceries. He give her the groceries. And I'm like, is he going to eat the booty like groceries now? I mean, <laughs> my bad, y'all. That's just where it put me at. That's where my mind went when I saw that scene. But anyway, he was going to give her back her key to her house. And she was like, no, nah, you keep that. Really, Molly? Why we do that? 
that sad. This man got a key to your house. Okay. So back when I was in my home day, and I told y'all I had messed with a married man once upon a time. Um, yeah, dude didn't have no key to my house. Dude can come to my house. Because if I can't come to yours, you can't come to mine. That's just how the hell this shit went out. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> She's giving him the key to the crib. And not only did she give him the key to the crib, she gave him the guy doggone snacks that our lawyer Chicago boy gave her. And I was like, whatever. I was rolling my eyes real tough at that. He tell her at that moment that Candace is coming to, to Tiffany's party for dirt. And she kind of taken aback from that. But she thinks, I'm going to be cool with it. I'm going to be cool. Okay. At the same time, Issa is getting a text from Tiffany saying, hey, Lawrence is coming to the party. Is that cool? So, you no, know, Lisa hit up Molly like, hey, you know Lawrence is supposed to be coming? She's like, no, nah, I didn't know who the fuck. That ain't cool. What the fuck is up with that shit? And uh, she said, if I know, I would have told you, right? So, she uh, tries to hit up his Facebook profile pic. <laughs> she gone. She deleted. And I think blocked at this time, too. So, we get our little famous Issa rap. <laughs> but how the fuck you gonna delete me, dude? You gonna push the button and delete me? This, that, 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 that. You gonna push me out your life like that? But then she texted Tiffany, like, yes, yeah, cool, fine, you can go and invite him. He was already invited. He was invited by Derek, his friend, the one, you know, whatever. So Molly at work, and uh, she talking to the partners. She trying to big up her um, potential of an increase, you know, salary. Like, okay, yeah, next year we look at you. She was like, you know, I know that y'all have the potential to give people early raises based off of their uh, performance. And he was like, yeah, next year, we'll do it. I'm like, they just don't want my girl to be great. Just go on, Molly. It's time for you to start looking into other avenues and move the fuck on. Move the fuck on. Time to go on, girl. So, Lawrence is trying to push up on old girl at work. Um, he tell her, like, look, I forgot I had this thing. So, can we push our little meetup back to, like, 10 o'clock? And she was like, oh, I think, right? He's like, yeah, my ex gonna be there. So, she suggests... Maybe we should just do it another time, or I come with you. I just said my ex gonna be there, and you suggest that I come with you. And he said, "Uh, sure." But I wasn't sure what he was saying. Sure, too, was he said sure to let's do this another time, or sure you can go and roll with me. But we learned, you know, she keeps going and roll with his ass. <laughs> um, I'm like Lois, what is you doing? I mean. It, I don't think that you should still be having to tiptoe around Issa at this point, but this is a function with all her friends. You might not want to bring her. You might not want to do it, bro. Issa get a call from Danny apologizing. I'm thinking Issa can invite him to the party since she know that, you know, Lawrence is coming, but she didn't. He goes on to start apologizing to her ass about what happened. She's like, get us fucked up what you did. I, it, I still put no blame on Danny. I'm sorry. Y'all can hate me if y'all want to. This is Issa fucking fault. It, it wasn't even a fault. It was just something that happened because they decided to do unprotected sex. That's what the fuck was that about. She decided to go down on him, give him some head, and he blasted off in her face because she didn't move when he said he's ready to nut. Why is Daniel apologizing? I mean, I can see you just apologizing just because you're a good dude. But you really had no reason to apologize. But then he goes on to say some fuck shit like, I guess we even in. Like, what the fuck? Okay, so now he's making it seem like he did this shit on purpose. I don't think that he meant it that way, but that's the way it came off. And her reaction was like, what the fuck? Because I'm like, what the fuck? What is it that we got to be even over? They get at Tiffany's party. Kelly's still hanging with Finger Foods, dude. You know. Why did they have to make him a goofball? I'm like, really? And this is what Kelly want to fuck with? She could have messed with old blood, dude, if she wanted to do that. But then uh, in walks Dro and Candace, and Molly Breath just is taken from her life, you know. It was wind knocked out of her cells. And I'm like, girl, if you feel in any way convicted and or jealous, then you know that what you're doing is hella fucking wrong. No matter how he's spinning. Candace come up to her, and she's like, hey, girl, hi. And Molly is all like, I don't know what to say. It's such an awkward conversation at this point. Molly trying to sit next to Dro and Tiff like, girl, I didn't have no seat in charge for a reason. Then move your ass on. <laughs> Issa and her brother come in. Someone made a theory that um, Issa, brother, and Derek had slept together, and that was the issue between 
Tiffany and their relationship and they had that six month separation. I don't see it playing out like this. Like why don't why would he show up to this birthday party? That'd be hella bold. I be, you know what? Everybody at this party hella bold. I mean look at Molly and Dro. But I still don't see it I don't see it with them. They don't interact with each other. They ain't building that up for me. For me to assume that Issa brother slept with their I just yeah, I think everybody just want Derek to be gay because they say he looked feminine. I don't, I just don't see it. Lawrence come through with his date and he walked in like, oh shit. I did not realize this was a dinner party. I thought this was just like a get together type of party. We just gonna, everybody going to be mixing and mingling. And it's a party, so it's kind of intimate. He like, look, I go. Oh girl, like whatever you want to do, I'm cool with it too. But Tiffany like, no, no, no. It's cool. Everything cool. Come on, sit down. Come on, sit down. Derek go get her a chair. He make everybody scoot down. Everybody feel uncomfortable. Kelly like, no, this nigga did not bring her up in here. Yes, he did. He put, you know. Issa looking hella drove at this point. She wasn't drinking at first, but now she is. Truthfully, I would feel hurt like Issa at this point, too. But, like I said, how long were they supposed to tiptoe around each other? I mean, he didn't bring Tasha around you. That's the one I would be concerned about is Tasha. He's he banging her out. Um, but, of course, there's some time between y'all now. There's some distance in between it. And, um, yeah, I, just, I know it's awkward, but how long they got to tiptoe around each other? The whole party is kind of awkward, you know. Molly, she feeling outshined by Candace. Um, Lawrence feeling out of place with his day. He's just feeling hella face cracked at this moment. Um, and then I realized that the dude at the end of the table that was talking to Lawrence, that's another guy that Issa brought in from Aqua Black Girl. He was like the nerdy dude that she had drunk slept with and was like totally in love with her. And when he's talking like this, that's him. And I was like, yeah, Issa told she to keep her people working. She keep her people working. Um, Tiffany makes a little toast. And then after the toast, Issa busts out of her. Molly looked at like, Lawrence like, you better go get her. So he gets up to go talk to her. And... It's like, how fucking dare you parade your little next little thought up on here, all up in my face, around my friends. And he was like, you know, I, that was not my intention. That's not what I want to do. And, she, and then she goes on to say, and then you got the motherfucking nerve to block me. He's like, hell yeah, I blocked you. Because now you up here parading the motherfucker that you cheated on me with all over social media. I didn't post no pictures. I don't give a fuck who posted the pictures. But he said, I shouldn't have to see this motherfucker that you cheated on me with. Now you fucking with him, you still fucking with him. How long you was fucking with him? You know, he go in like that. Um, they go back and forth. You know, Issa makes some valid points here. But I'm about to tell y'all, hate me for it if you won't. I'm Team Lawrence in this one. I'm Team Lawrence in this one. Issa, you fucked that relationship up by cheating on him. You had it in your mind that she was going to leave him. You didn't. And then you decided to step outside your relationship. Regardless if he had been depressed, like she said, regardless if he had been sitting up on his ass for two years, you made the choice to accept that shit. So, the choice you made to step outside of your relationship, to sleep with somebody else, that's all on you. That's where the downfall of your relationship came from because evidently those two years of him sitting up being depressed and not doing shit didn't, wasn't a downfall. There wasn't a catapult for it. It's your fault. I agree with Lawrence. On this point, fuck you. Fuck you and feature grits. Drove her off into the bathroom. And Molly decides to follow. She feeling some kind of way. She in the feeling. She, she didn't think she was going to be able to feel this awkward around them. But she does. And he like, you know, me and you got something special too. Drew is a play. Drew is a fuck nigga. And I'm like, Candace walk up. Candace, I want Candace to walk up in this moment. But she didn't, unfortunately. Shit. Next thing we know, they wilding out in the motherfucking bathroom. Yes, that's what's really going down. Y'all just going, with his wife sitting in the other damn room in the restaurant in the same motherfucking building, you finna fuck her husband. So after it's all said and done, he like, hey, you hang back here for a minute. And um, I'm going to go out and then you come on out too. So he goes out and then when he, when Molly steps out. But there's Issa. Why couldn't that not have been Candace? I wanted it to be Candace. I'm, 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 just be mad at me if you want to. I wanted it to be Candace. But she steps out. And trying to do her little walk of shame. Her friend is standing there. She didn't say anything judging. But um, I'm like, girl. 
I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's me because I don't know nothing about an open marriage. But I didn't think that you needed to sneak around in an open marriage. That's why it's called open. If you got to sneak around, bruh, somebody is cheating. That's what the hell is going on. And Molly, you was the side piece in this one. Okay, so Lola's driving around, angry driving. And old girl was like, look, don't let this ruin our night. We can still have some fun together. Let's go ahead and get our drink. Okay. Molly called up her mama and she tried to get an understanding. Mom, you know, how, why you stay after being cheated on? You know, what, what what made you do it? How you feel? How you get over the hurt? And I'm like, she talking to her mama like she the one being cheated on. No, Molly, you the one he cheating with. So how you gonna get an understanding from your mama how you feel it? Trying to justify your feelings, or or you just trying to say, you trying to get an understanding of how Candace might feel? Or is that what's going on? I don't know. Joe hit her up like, hey, I'll be back in town Thursday. We're going to meet up. And she finally hit her back like, hey, I can't do this anymore. It's done. Done to it. I mean, if you're going to do that type of shit, stand on it. Stand on it. Stand in your truth. But yeah, don't pretend. That's the one thing Issa did tell her early. I know what the fuck I'm getting into. I knew that when I got into my rotation, when I was supposed to be getting to, even though Issa stepped over the line too with Daniel because she wanted to give him something special, make him feel like he was the special ding lane. But still, um, and Molly is in this particular case acting like she's just going on going through with blinders all. Not a good place to be. Issa, uh, oh, Lawrence with his girl, uh, they seem like they finna step they look relationship up so he leaned in to give her a kiss and he's at home looking at the wall looking at the burn spot on the wall as a reminder of all kind of shit how her whole relationship went up in flames that was that symbolic up to me and um then she started having her own little private riot I'm like why the fuck are you turning your own shit up girl what the fuck is wrong with you Lois ain't going on hell he moving on shit and good for him good for fucking him <laughs> That is insecure. Hella disrespectful. Season 2. Episode 7. Again, we only got one episode left of Insecure that comes on next week. Thank y'all for coming back. Thank y'all for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And um, invite your friends to the channel. Come. Come into the phone. Come into the phone. Peace.